Hey everybody, I'm Jeff Baker and welcome to This Is What I'm Talking About. Today I'm talking about shrimp and scallops. I'm going to do a little dish called Shrimp and Scallop Divine. I'm going to do a lot of adaptation to this recipe because number one, this is supposed to be for lobster. don't have lobster so I'm doing shrimp and scallops. This happens to be what I have on hand. And second, it's supposed to be a microwave recipe. It's so beautiful out here today. I'm going to be using the grill as my microwave. Don't know how it's going to work, but we're going to give it a shot here. What I've got is a baking dish that I've already sprayed with uh, nonstick spray. Now all we're going to do is spread out some shrimp and scallops on the bottom of the dish here. Like I said, this is going to be a total adaptation to this recipe, so who knows what's going to happen. All right, we're going to take a little bit of melted butter and we're going to just spread over this stuff. I'm telling you what, once you see the end result of this, I think, matter of fact, I forgot, put the one I already had made up on the grill. Should only take a couple minutes, so hopefully that's going to come out right. That could be a total disaster. Eh, we'll see. I got the grill up on high, so hopefully it'll get done in time. I intended to put that in right before I started. That's okay. Now, to the mixture, what we're going to do, we're going to take a little bowl. Yeah, I'm going to have a mess going on here is what I can see. We'll take a bowl. Start out with some finely chopped onions and finely chopped garlic. And to that, we're going to add some panko breadcrumbs. These are Japanese style panko. They're real, real fine breadcrumbs. We're just going to add that to our mixture. You just kind of eyeball it and figure out what you're going to use here. You always add to it and subtract from it. Also going to add some grated cheese. You know how I like the Mexican four blend. Going to add a little bit of that to it. And we're going to take some more of that melted butter and mix it right to it. See what kind of a mess I'm making here. All we're going to do is mix this up. Like I said, this original recipe was called Lobster Divine, which I don't happen to have lobster on hand, so I'm just doing an adaptation and we'll see how it comes out. Add the rest of this. But I do believe it's going to come out pretty darn good. Folks, I need more recipes. You've got to send, send me your ideas. Just tell me what your favorite recipe is and let me, let me do my take on it. All right, now all we're going to do we're just going to Sprinkle this right on top of the shrimp and scallop mixture. And like I say, the original's for lobster, so you can certainly use this for lobster also. You want to do, now these are already cooked, of course, with the shrimp and the scallops, but the lobster, you want to do an uncooked lobster. And you're going to microwave it for two minutes once you've got this ready to go. Just had a person walk by on the street wondering who I'm talking to. Hey! Alright, and once we get this all on here like this... I think it's going to taste delicious myself. They say it's a two minute uh, microwave recipe, so I'm not sure how long it'll take on the grill. I've got it on high, so we'll find out shortly. Now all we're going to do is take a little paprika, sprinkle on the top. You don't want a whole lot, just enough to give it a little, little flavor and a little pizzazz. Alrighty. And you know how I like rice, those little minute rice things. So what I've got. 
I'm going to try brown rice this time. Can't get any, any easier than this, folks. Take the lid off, pop it in the microwave for a minute, boom, instant rice. Okay, let's see here. Tidy the plate up just a tear. Let's see if we're even. Give it another minute or two. I'll put this one in there also. my Carl Edwards t-shirt today in honor of Carl winning the poll for this Sunday's Daytona 500. I'm a big Carl Edwards fan. I really wish I would have put that in a couple minutes sooner. It's almost done though. And it's going to have to be what we got is what we're going to have to go with. I'm not sure how you would actually take this out either. I don't know if you spoon it out maybe with a ladle. And I will see what it looks like. Tell you what, we're gonna go with what we got. See what it looks like. Oh yeah, that's looking pretty good, folks. You want it in there a couple minutes more than that, but you gotta admit, with the sizzling, it's looking pretty darn good. I'm just gonna spoon a little bit of that over the rice. Let's take one of these things. See how that'll work. A couple of shrimps, and I'm going to end up burning myself here. A couple of the scallops. And I'm saying we're looking pretty good. Shrimp and lobster divine. Tell me what you think. I'm thinking it's looking pretty darn good to eat. Like I say, folks, I'm, I need more recipes. Give me, give me some ideas of what you want to see. And guess who's getting ready to eat shrimp and scallop divine? This guy. That's what I'm talking about.